What is good guys, just like here we're back with another video. If you guys did not know, today is a sad day for me as it is the anniversary of my mom passing away. But I'm okay, I'm doing fine. I just wanted to upload this content for you guys. So this will be a pretty quick video. But um today I will be reacting to the 2K21 next gen rating, so let's get into it. Okay, here's, this is my thoughts on Zion 86. Zion is not an 86. He has not played enough games to be an 86. I rank Zion in between 83 and 84. Probably 84. Just because he's sheer talent. But not an 86. Let's go to it. Oh, hell no. There ain't no way in hell. Okay, I agree with the Jason Tatum rating. But there's no way in hell you just rated... Kemba Walker and Jalen Brown, the same rating as Zion. There's no way in hell. I'm sorry. This is BS. Hashtag higher Kemba Walker's overall. Hashtag higher Jalen Brown's overall. Let's continue. How the hell is Jamal Murray better than Kemba Walker? Please kill me right now. Stop. Anyone who agrees with 2K is stupid. Only Denver fans are going to agree with that. Okay, if ratings were based solely on the regular season, I'd agree with this. But a dude that's never been in the playoffs... In 88, I rank him at 87 or 86. I'm sorry. Trey Young has not proven anything to me yet. Okay. Devin Booker, this is the only exception, one of the only exceptions to that rule. I'll rank him at 88. Because this year his team got better with him on the Like, the team was better. Like,. I'll agree with this one. Luka Doncic is not better than Jimmy Butler. I'll say that right now. Luka Doncic is not a better player than Jimmy Butler. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, a 95 for Dame. Okay, I know the guy works hard. He's probably my favorite point guard besides Kemba and John Wall. So, let me get this straight. He's a 95. Hell no. I rank him a 93. I rank Luka a 93. I rank, J well, no. I rank Luka a 92. Or 90, actually no, I'll rank him 91, I'll rank Jimmy Butler 92, I'll give Dame 93, and then, yeah, that's... Uh, okay, Clay is, overall, I agree with, but Curry is the same overall as Dame, I'm sorry, no. I just realized they said that Curry and Dame are equal to KD. Hell no, Lord both. God. So, uh, if I have to give ratings that I disagree with, probably the Trey Young one, I rank him at 87. Definitely the Kemba Jalen because I believe Jalen Brown is an 87, and Kemba should be an 87 as well. The Jamal Murray one, I believe he, he can stay at 87. That's an argument for another day. But I would put him down to an 86, just because I haven't seen enough from him. It's literally one playoff run, 
and everyone thinks she's better. 2K thinks she's better than Kemba for that. And then, and then on top of that, Luca's rated too high. KD is rated too low. Um, Jimmy Butler's rated too high. But I believe he's better than Luca, so I'd rank him 92, Luca at 91. And then James Harden's not better than KD. And then, you know, it's just like... And um, Zion shouldn't be rated that high. I don't even think Clay should be rated that high. I think he's like an 88 or an 87. I'd give him an 87, to be honest. Because, like, I don't know if his defense is going to be as good as it was. And I don't know if he's going to be as good at running off screens as he used to be. So, I'm not sure, but... And, um, Paul George in this game, just for the playoffs, should be a 79 overall. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But the fact that Jason Tatum and Paul George are the same overall is blasphemous. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave players for me in the comments, man. And, um, peace out, guys.